to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Hikaru saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... arrives. Please, Aloy, come here. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or more. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. I say no to that. So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Today is a day for pride. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. So I've been thinking. I'm going to petition to join the Chief's guard. What brought this on? With everything that's happened. Join JTF-10 for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. Honor and strength. Seek for honor. Is that playback device working properly? Yes. Thank you for helping to fix it.
I'll let you know if I find more voices. If they can't face Cairo. these machines, they're not worthy to be marshals. There will be blood spilled today. No doubt. We held off Regala once. We'll do it again. Aloy. A word. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them, then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cabo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner. No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. The Cavo is the last of my blood. You said Cavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans war constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the Rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. Moore was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. 
Until then, strike true. to try and I hope I'm there to watch him get his ass That was good. Go again. The tribe has asked so much of her honor. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Dukka. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Heard in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaru won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. I guess I need to head southeast to find that rollerback. I already have enough bristleback tusks on me. I don't have the override data for that machine yet. I better look me cold.
not as an Osram Forge, as Aaron would say. I only stock the finest. Come back and see. This will be my stash when I need it. Even Hikaro has traded with me, you know? <coughs> Something else, Outlander? My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. I have to get going. And I have inks to prepare.
sound like rebels. And if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're heading. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Too. 